Да котя Катерина, да купеческая дочь, да да ты прогуляла, да тютю. Oh my goodness, Kateria going to number one. That was amazing. Привет, Ukraine! Oh, привет! <laughs> so good to see you. How are you feeling? Oh, we feel uh, much better. I feel much better. <laughs> what about you boys? <laughs> uh, we feel just, you know, perfect. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You've so. been on quite a journey, Katerina. Feeling ill, how did you stay busy in the hotel during quarantine? Uh, uh, no. I think I should translate that. So, what did you do during the quarantine when you were at home? What did you do in the hotel? What did you say? At home. At home. I feel very, very bad. What did you do? I sleep. Uh, uh, I drink water, I... Uh, Run! Uh, <laughs> uh, there are many meds about around my bed and uh, um, it's, it was a very uh, bad Un period. Uncomfortable. In, yes. <laughs> but now you're at full strength again? Yes, yes. I feel much better. It's okay. Great. And what did you think of the stand-in rehearsal, the singer who performed for you? Uh, very beautiful girl, uh, uh, So we are very, very thankful for her, to her, uh, for being with us, for being with us on the second uh, rehearsal. And uh, well, I don't think if anybody could do that better. Yeah. <laughs> Just one, Katarina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now your stage show is very beautiful. We thought we were in the North Pole. Could you tell us about this staging and your concept? Well, uh, it's like a, a future connect with past. Yeah, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's like a continuation of our song story. Uh, so we're like traveling in time from the past to the future. And as Kate said before, we're trying to connect, you know, our ancient roots and Ukrainian folklore with more than cyberpunk and everything connected to that. So we're trying just to, you know, recreate the part of the original folk dance on stage. So it's like a magic ritual going on. And is it meant to be an island of snow in space? Well, uh, it's like a allegorical raft. Uh, yeah, so, and uh, we are pilgrims uh, that are traveli traveling and bringing joy and happiness to all people. And uh, you can see that we're, uh, uh, Kate and our dancers, we are sewing, you know, uh, sewing joy and happiness and waking sleeping people up from the pandemic and everything. Ah, a gorgeous pilgrim, I see, I see. Because Katerina, I thought maybe you were a bird or maybe a fairy. Could you talk about your look? Uh, I think that I'm queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we think that, uh, you know, so the, the shroom, uh, the name shroom is the name of uh, uh, the spore, uh, forest spirit from Ukrainian mythology. So, and in the original folk song, shroom has a green fur coat, symbolizing new green leaves. Yeah, so you've talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> We've been debating oh. dragon, flower, fairy. Oh, so, and we believe that, uh, you know, Kate's uh, green coat is like a present from, from uh, the forest period, just yes. for luck. <laughs> and the background is so amazing. At the end, we see what looks like a man running. What does he symbolize? Uh, he symbolizes uh, the movement of time. So uh, we, are, we are being on the draft and uh, everything around us is just moving from the past to the future. And after your rehearsal, the bookies pushed you up, up, up. Now you're considered a big favorite to make the final. I think you're a top 10 betting. What was your reaction to this news? 
Well, it's very motivating for us. Yeah. It just <laughs> motivates us to do as good as we can. So we are trying to, you know, take all the time we have in the hotel just to rehearse and to do and Kate does her singing techniques and rehearsing and so on. So it's like uh, we are very honored, uh, you know, to receive, uh, you know, such uh, feedback. And it's you know it's it's just amazing you know so we are happy with everything and as I said before it's like motivates us to do more and more and more and actually uh, we have brought uh, you know our sound cards and microphones from Ukraine so and maybe we'll have an inspiration to make some new songs here. Okay. And could we quickly just introduce everyone actually? I'm Ivan. <laughs> I'm Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ivan, our guitar player. Uh, Igor is our, actually he's a woodwinds player in our band, but he can play anything, really. So it's easier to name musical instruments he cannot play. Uh, so, of course, our beautiful singer Katerina. It's me. Yeah, and uh, I'm Taras. I'm just, you know, a guy who founded this band. <laughs> yes, Taras, and I wanted to ask you, did people think you were crazy when you said, I want to put folk with EDM boom boom? Yes, they they thought I was crazy and it was very difficult to find the people who would understand what I was going to do. So, and I found them. Was it hard to find them? Uh, it took me uh, seven years to do this. Oh, wow. So, I met Kate in 2012, in late 2012. Yes, and we've been performing since that, uh, and uh, we've met uh, we've met Igor on one of our shows in Poland. Yeah, and in months after that we met Ivan. So it was like in 2019. So and right now we have uh, you know a dream team. <laughs> So I, w I was always, you know, dreaming about uh, just making music and performing with these people. I just didn't know that. <laughs> now I can tell Katerina's very humble, very down to earth. So please, why do you think she is special? Uh, so that's what you think. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> uh, okay, actually, Katerina is very emotional person, right? Yes, very yes. emotional. Yeah. Uh, so. And well, it's you know uh, nowadays when we are doing songs, it's like uh, you know she just starts to say something. I continue the phrase, uh, and we are just working as a team, and as you know, not as a team, but just as one entity. I think so. So it's like uh, we're all connected with our love for Ukrainian folk music and Ukrainian culture. So and uh, Igor and Katerina has have studied folklore on a deep uh, on a deep level. So they were going to folk expeditions in Ukraine. So and they know a lot of you know things connected. So and they like you know <clears throat> you know injected us with this love for folk music and for Ukrainian culture. Uh, uh, oh. oh, actually. <coughs> Uh, actually, uh, just uh, several days ago, we've been learning uh, our new folk song, uh, and we can just sing them, sing it together, for the four of us. Yeah, and well, and actually, we have recorded that song uh, near uh, near Chernobyl, because the origins of the original uh, folk song Shum are from Chernobyl region. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> this song about me. <laughs> yeah, so this this song is called Katrina, <laughs> actually. Three, four. Da Katya Katerina, da Kupiecheska Doch, da Deti Prokolala, da Tsutyo. Oh my goodness, Katarina going to number one. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Katarina, actually, I was reading on weebyblogs.com that you have worked so many different jobs from model to working in fast food to singing. What was the hardest job you had? Uh, the hardest job in my life is fast food. 
uh, because uh, there are many people around and I introvert and it's, uh, it, uh, it was uh, very stressed for me. Uh, but але uh, потім я я почала вчитися спілкуватися з людьми таким чином. Okay, but then she started just to learn how to talk to people and yeah. interact with them. <laughs> yeah, and uh, from that time since that time it was like uh, just much easier for her. And Ihor, what do you think you are <laughs> Ihor, you're an amazing instrumentalist. So many instruments, but which is your favorite? Oh, my favorite instrument maybe is this um, Sopilka because I'm uh, learning this instrument maybe 15 years. Yeah, this is my favorite instrument. The, this is uh, the first instrument. Uh, so it's the first instrument he, learned, he had learned, so he has been playing Sopilka since he was six years old, six I years. think. Yeah. yeah. And the go a sound, you know, I associate it with this flute. Is that how Ukrainian folk music is? Is the, sep the flute very crucial to Ukrainian folk? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. Uh, so it's one of you know most important musical instruments in Ukrainian folklore. So of course we have uh, stringed instruments such as bandura and trumbita and many others. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, so uh, sepilka so sometimes uh, Igor can play uh, so good that it's almost remind us of a uh, human voice. So and it's you know uh, so it's very emotional. And uh, that's why it's uh, you know it's an important part of uh, our folk music. Of the Basaboyo? He can play something. Oh please, yes. Let's warm up that Instagram. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so he always carries uh, se several instruments with him. <laughs> Wow, I feel seduced. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. Now you guys, a lot of other Eurovision stars have said you're their favorite song. You have the, their favorite most interesting song. Yeah. I'm curious for you though, what Eurovision songs appeal to you? Oh, well, we have, uh, we have our favorites, of course. Yes, but, but not one favorite. Uh, it's uh, Daddy from Iceland. It's uh, uh, John from uh, Switzerland. Uh, it's uh, the Rube from Lithuania. It's uh, uh, from Australia. Uh, Montaigne. Montaigne, yes. Uh, Finland. Yeah, Blind Channel. <laughs> well, actually, uh, all uh, all of us have played in rock bands before. Yeah. So it's like in our blood. <laughs> so and actually, uh, besides uh, just of, uh, Ukrainian authentic vocals, Kate can sing extreme vocal style, like screaming. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Yes. Oh wow. I guess you have to protect your voice now, so I won't ask you to do it. But we will search online. <laughs> it will. It will be. It would be very loud. So. <laughs> You guys are so lovely, so warm. Thank you for the music and thank you for this interview. Do you have a final message for all of your international fans on WeWeBlogs.com? We love you all. And uh, remember your roots. Uh, stay safe, be happy, and vote of Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> they are go a semi-final one. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you.